Okay. Amy, I'm going to um, just ask you a question and pass the microphone down. Uh, it was a, let's see, Chloe's song. That was the short. And it was a, a short film. And uh, so was it a, a, a very arduous task to pull your whole cast and production together? How did that work for you? I just tired my students. <laughs> wow. So that was pretty easy, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, we had a great crew. Do you want to talk about how it started? Um, sure. Yeah, why don't you talk about it? <laughs> I mean, Can we get the volume up on it? <clears throat> Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> Go ahead and talk, please. Um, so, yeah, it actually came together very quickly. I went to Amy with this idea and living in L.A. for about two years and just not getting these really meaty roles that I wanted. and. So we put our heads together and within like four weeks we had the production schedule and we shot everything over a three week period. And then post took us like two weeks. <laughs> no, we really did it very quickly <laughs> we did actually. It, fast. it was a yeah, it was a really quick process and we worked with um, Claire and I had worked together before on a web series. So when I was writing um, Chloe's song, I actually wrote it with her in mind. There there was no audition process, so she just thankfully said yes, and I kind of, yeah, had that in the bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, it also was a, well, we can talk about the SAG thing. We yeah. talk about the SAG thing. Jessica didn't have her SAG card, and, mm -hmm. and um, the whole process for her was amazing because you got your SAG card, you learned how to become a producer and deal with SAG. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and, <laughs> and how to sign people mm -hmm. in and make sure that they got it in on time. and. Mm -hmm. Um, and I made sure that I um, rehearsed the actors well in advance, so we shot it pretty fast. Yeah. How long did it take yeah. you? Well, we had to do a pickup shoot because we lost some footage, which was sad, but actually the, the new shoot was even better, so just when you think something's really bad, it turns out to be really great. Yeah. <laughs> so how many days did you shoot? Two and a half. Two yeah. and a half three. days? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. But when you're organized, I mean, Jessica's really organized, and I'm really organized. Yeah. And my my people knew what they were doing, um, and we hired the right crew. Yeah, we had a great. Um, except for the camera that. Yeah, know. we we lost some footage. Yeah. So we used a really amazing camera, the Black Magic. It's an Ursa. <laughs> it's like a beautiful camera, um, but this, you know the camera actually has some issues with losing footage and we went through that. But like Amy said, we ended up shooting the pickup shots at a completely different location, which worked better for our scene. So yeah, it kind of worked out. Yeah, it, it actually was a scene between um, Jessica and Clara, that long scene. Mm -hmm. And we ended up with a better location and um, they got to rehearsed it the first time and we lost it and now we got a great performance the second time. Yeah. So it was great. It was great. I just just think we were all ready, you know. It was just very organized. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say something about oh. your experience? Um, this is Clara York. Okay. Wait a minute. Can't go we're too done. far with that. <laughs> go ahead. I think well, you have some room. Um, it was a great role for me to play. Um, I kind of was the antagonist at the end, at the beginning and then I came around, you know, and um, I think that it's really kind of wonderful. A lot of you guys are actors here. Hang in there because when you get older, um, you get really great parts. <laughs> um, they get more meaty, they get, you know, you become like the, the backbone, the you know, the, the, the reason that the, that the main character is the way they are. And so I'm really enjoying that. And I, I, I was really moved by this movie tonight again. Yeah, she yeah. cried. I, it was really yeah. strange. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. it, just, it just, it means a lot to me, this movie. Yeah. It's, a, it's it, there's a lot going on there. But anyway. So. Well, I, I want to also talk about that. I, I think that um, sometimes when you, you're an actor and you see yourself, on a small screen and then all of a sudden you see yourself on a really big screen. Right guys? It's very moving and, and it gives you hope and it makes you think, wow, I did that, I could do it again and I could do it again and I want to do it more. It's very addicting, you know? <laughs> the story was really about teenage pregnancy. Uh, we, we, tonight, uh, Not during, really a teenage. 
Oh, Pardon me? 20s. 20s, early oh, yeah. 20s. Oh, okay, okay. Unwet, but she looks like a teenager. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, was there any, uh, whose story was this now? Uh, was this anybody's personal story? Was there yeah. any? Because oh, okay. <laughs> I've been noticing a lot of themes going through the uh, some of the shows that we've seen. Um, <laughs> was there a uh, purpose or a, a message that you wanted to put out yeah. through this film? Well, yeah, I think I just wanted to touch on topics that we actually deal with as young women. You know, there's always that question of, do I have kids or do I have a career? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you're someone who's young in Hollywood and you're chasing your dream, which I, you know, understand that level. You know, this wasn't a personal story, but, and then you have something terrible happen where, you know, you find out this guy who you think you're falling in love with is, not who he says he is, and then... Well, that's a Hollywood story. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's definitely a you know, story. Um, but yeah, I mean, women every day have to deal with the topic of family planning, and it's oh, it always falls, you know, unfortunately, that we still have that going on in society. And so I think we put front and center the topic of, you know, abortion, which is a touchy thing. Um, but yeah, girls deal with this all the time, and then we put a twist at the end, because I think normally, the story ends differently, and maybe the mom doesn't come around. But so we explored the relationship between mother and daughter, which I think you don't see that in a lot of films. And this is a yeah. female-centric film, so I love doing that. You know, it's usually more about the love story. And for this girl, it was about her passion and what she wanted and having a family on her own, you know, with or without a guy involved. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I thank you. Does anyone have a question that they would like to present? Just go ahead and stand. Okay. So, Amy, I understand you're also an acting teacher, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dennis. Yes. So I was wondering, you know, sometimes uh, when you teach uh, an acting class, you'll say something like, that's directorial. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's more specific to your action or to what that particular part needs to look at, whereas that act, the actor may need to focus more on how they're feeling and what they're doing. So I was wondering, being a director in this case, that changes for you? Do you teach, um, do, you, do you direct much like you teach, or is it a very different thing, like one's directorial and one's more? Oh, that's a really good question, mm -hmm. Dennis. I hate you right now, but uh, <laughs> um, I think when you're directing, you have to look at the overall picture, whereas when I'm coaching you guys, I look at the scene itself. Um, but if you were to get like a really big job, I would look at the entire script and where you are emotionally in the script. The same as I have to think about where the camera is going to be as a director um, and what story am I telling. And so I have to look at the overall picture of what the themes are in, in the particular movie and make sure that the characters are moving towards those themes. Whereas when I'm coaching, I'm, it's almost backwards. I'm coaching on the one where the perspective of the actor not the perspective, the perspective of the actor through the writer, which is completely different. Does that answer that question? Yeah, cool. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Does anyone else have a question? Okay, well, we thank you ladies so much. Thank you. For, time for the ladies from Chloe's song. Thank you. All right, well, if we'd like, if we could uh, bring the uh, next cast and uh, crew down from Imperfect. <laughs>